Hey everyone, it's Jess and James here and welcome to Karama TV and in this episode we're going to show you how to wear perfume and what we mean by that is how do you actually wear perfume? What's the right way of wearing perfume? And I thought the best way for us to do this is to bring onto the show my business partner and founder of Karama Fragrances, Mr. Karama himself, Runu Mia. So Runu, we're here today about to uh, show everyone how to wear perfume because this is something that people don't really understand do they you know so you tell me what are the, what are some of the common mistakes people make when they when they apply perfume well some of the common first and foremost some of the common mistakes people make is they don't know how to what to do and how to do it so one of the things would be People uh, need to fresh have a fresh shower, so making sure getting off all the dirt and uh, odor, body odor from the. So, you, so you, you heard it, people. You can't just like get up in the morning and spray yourself and hope you smell nice. You got to be clean too, right? That's right. <laughs> Secondly, when when you come out of the shower, you need to dampen your skin, so push moisturize your skin, put some moisturizer in, uh, non uh, scented moisturizer. So unscented moisturizer unscented after yourself. you've showered. Yes before you apply that's right perfume. otherwise this uh, f the f perfume don't sit well right. once you moisturize it then it settles well on the skin but it needs to be unscented otherwise it, the smell gets contaminated so so what would happen if someone didn't put um moisturizer on and applies to the skin like what what what, what you wouldn't get the best result yeah, as in it, it wouldn't last that long. It wouldn't last It'd long. Also, it wouldn't settle well as well. Right. It, when the skin is moisturized, it settles better. Got you. Got you. So, w how should people actually be wearing perfume? Because I'm gonna, like before before I got involved with you and Karama, you know, I, I love perfume. I love fragrances. It's part, part one of the reasons why I partnered up with with, with you guys. But the, I didn't really know how because if if I'm very honest, most of us just whatever it might be, this and that. So, so what's, what's so what, the, is it, what is it we should be doing? One of the most other important thing is to wear it on your pulse points because uh, we have body thermal uh, where the uh, blood is circulating. So the, uh, your pulse points are behind the ear, uh, on your wrists, on your elbows, inside your knees for women when they wear sh skirts or shorts or something they can spit here. The, uh, what actually happens is as the blood is circulating, it's passing heat. And because everyone's body thermal is different, it gives you a bit more unique scent, but it lasts longer. So, so should we demo some now? Like, where, where would you, where would you, like, this is, this is one of our top fragrances, right? This is Diamond. Right. Diamond Nude, people, get some. Like, over 10,000 bottles of this sold in, like, a short space of time. It's really, really cool. So, um, like, let's quickly demo. Like, instead of the pulse points, obviously, there's several yeah, pulse points. So, like, you, right. you, you show, you, you show right, us, so show everyone at home. Like, how do we do this? Okay, so what I would... First thing I would do, I would spray it on my wrist here, let it settle. One of the biggest mistakes people do, as soon as they spray it, they, rub it they crush it. Right. And what they're doing is breaking the components. See, I used of, to do that. Yeah, instead of, let, most people think you put it on and you uh, rub it and it gets, it, it dries quicker. You have to let it dry down by itself. As you can see, yeah. it's drying and it'll settle into the skin better. When you're doing that, you're not letting it settle and you're breaking the ingredients and the components and the notes. So, question for you. Because yeah. you doing that, it just reminds me of my mum. Because yeah. I, when I was growing up, I always used to see my mum and rub it together. Rub it, yeah, yeah. I'm not saying men don't do it. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying I've seen a lot of women, women doing that. Yeah. So, so ladies, great tip for you there. Don't crush all the components together. Just spray it on and let it settle. Um, but what about men? Like, like where would men apply? Do, do, I mean, for experience. me, yeah. uh, since I've, we started our own brand, um, I'm exploring perfumes a bit more. I love wearing it around the ear, right? Because right? when you hug someone, a family, a friend, you. your ch child, your wife, whoever, they can smell it on you, yeah? That's, so these points. Yeah, these points here. here. And then one of my favorite, because we're talking about pulse points and all this yeah, year, yeah. heart on my chest. I wow. love it, yeah. Because that's giving out a lot of blood, yeah? yeah. Or the, uh, the thermal. Yeah, thermal. Heat. Yeah, heat. So I love spraying it on my chest. And as your, uh, as the day goes, it comes out from your shirt or t-shirt. So can I clarify this? Yeah. This is onto your skin, not your clothes. Yeah, onto your skin. Right, got Yeah. Okay. So when I come out of the shower, I would moisture myself properly. 
then I would spray one, spray each here, well, however amount you want. Mm -hmm. Less is better. Yeah. yeah. But I got a bit freakish with that with yeah. my perfume. I love my perfume. Um, I spray it on my chest and my wrists. So yeah. make sure because these points you can't smell it mm -hmm. yourself. Because after a little while, it does. You can't smell it, but people can smell it. You need to test it. If it's here, you can smell it. So spray both here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, a lot of the time, I layer my perfume. So I'll wear a couple of perfume. One like below my chest, one above my chest, mm -hmm. and above on my neck and stuff. So you get two different kinds of smells. So I'll spray one here, one on here to see how the layering is working. Got it. Like so, la layering. Like like for, for those of you who don't know what layering is, like I was blown away when I learned this concept. I was like, you can wear more than one perfume at once. Like I had no idea you could even do this. Um, but layering is something that people are missing. So for example, most people like buy one perfume and they just wear that. Um, but Rune, do you want to quickly explain what layering actually is so people can understand that you don't just need to wear one perfume at a time? Like what, is, what does layering mean? <clears throat> for me, layering is like wearing two different kinds of smells. So you can have some smell that is a um, fresh type of smell mm. with maybe a little bit of sweetness or you can wear something that is woody and spicy. So for me, I would wear something that's really woody and spicy and like winter on above. Mm. And just to keep the body cool, I'll wear something a little bit fresh. So this is what layering for me is. And this is the way I, I find it like really works for me. And most people that I've spoken to from whether it's from a shop or people uh, just like in events and fragrance um, within the industry. Yeah, no, I mean, since since you introduced me to that, like yeah. my, 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 my favorite Karama layer combo is got to be Runu, obviously the one you know, named after you, which is nice and, you know, levery and, and, and woody. Uh, and then I, I like to mix that with honey mm -hmm. and, and just literally like have that sweetness in there. So I'm like literally fluctuating between these different different um, fragrances, different nice. smells like throughout the day. And you know, when the wind catches it, and it's, it's just it's just really, really nice. So uh, great tip for you there. That's that's how you can layer perfume. So before people go, What's, what's the one biggest tip that you can give people when it comes to making sure that they wear their perfumes properly? Like on a, cause it, it's almost like it's become, perfumes become like a, a, a part of a ritual now, part mm. of a habit. Like, you know, and I, I know especially like, you know, a lot of people now when they get dressed, they almost feel incomplete right. unless they've got a fragrance That's on. Right. So what what's one last tip you can give everyone before we wrap this up? The one last thing I would give, like you got to see what type of day it is yeah the best way to wear a perfume is wear it to suit the day the time and the season so mm -hmm. what i would do like during the summer i just wear fresh perfumes all day long if i'm going somewhere very important i would wear something with fresh and a little bit woody in the evening so that's like going out but if i'm not going out i just wear fresh perfume so what you got to do is find out what time you want to go out or what you what, what it's for yeah. and what the season is and just find out the notes you'd like to wear. Brilliant. So for winter, oud is amazing. Yeah. So so season, yeah, time of day, occasion. occasion. So so have a good thing. That's, that's a really. really it's good not per, look perfume. People just think it's just a spray, and you just spray it on. It's not. It's much deeper than that. Yeah. Yeah. It's you. You have to know it and understand it, and then apply it. It's just like knowledge. It's all education. It's all education. So hey, you heard it from a man himself. This, this is exactly how you should be wearing perfume. Look, if you found this video useful, here's what I'd like you to do. I'd like you to hit subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you get notified each time we put out new content so that we can help you choose perfumes, know how to wear them, bringing you up to date tips. Because look, here's the thing. The perfume industry is growing every single day. It's turned into a multi, multi-billion dollar industry. And here's the thing. There are so many people right now shifting away from cheaper brands and sort of mainstream perfumes to more luxury fragrances, just like us at Karama Fragrances right now. So look, whether you buy from us or not, that's irrelevant. We just want you to know how to choose perfume so that you don't waste your money, but also get the best return on your investment. Because I genuinely feel when you pay for a perfume, it's an investment because it makes you feel good, you smell good. It make, when you're feeling good and smelling good, it makes you do incredible things. So make sure you don't waste your money on perfume. And if you enjoyed anything that we said, feel free to share this video, feel free to comment below. And look, if you want to take a trial spin or, or test us out or see what we have to offer as a fragrance brand, I highly recommend you click on the link somewhere down in the comments or somewhere around this video. Go and check out our website and see what we have to offer. But this is Jesson. 
co-owner of Karama Fragrances, one of the fastest growing fragrance brands right here in the UK. This has been us telling you how to wear perfume. Hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time.